Hi everybody, it is Building Inspector aka Oki. I'm on my home server AB, standing in my guild hall in the crafting room. And I am going to do a video on how to change your um, recipe filters. So when you try and add a recipe filter, you click add and you pick a name and you pick what recipes and stuff and click OK. It goes to the bottom and there's no way for you to organize these within the game you can't like move one up move one down it just it's whenever you create it sort of thing and so um let me delete this one i don't want this one here uh delete it okay so um there's an another issue so not just carpenters can make um house items and I'm not talking about the holiday recipes because everyone can make those holiday recipes. I'm talking about the provisioner has a special advance book that allows um, the provisioner to make a, a food cart or a drink cart. I think it's a drink cart and you can right click on it and get a drink and then a picnic setting. There is a, an advanced recipe book for a weaponsmith that allows them to do like four or five, six um, weapons decorative weapons for your wall the armor can make a mirror that um, cancels out your xp debt um, it's a house item so there's they're not um recipes that all types of crafters can make it's specific to the provisioner weaponsmith armor etc so when you look when you look at your recipe um, filters and you try and add the different recipes it only shows the recipes that that character can make and the problem is when you're trying to do the filter and you want all house items including the provisioners the weaponsmiths the armors etc there's you can't really do that it's very limited so i found out that you can actually edit the the actual file that um the game pulls to create this this drop down list for you to pick the different um, recipe filters. So what I'm going to show you now is how to edit that file. And I know it seems really scary, but trust me, it's not hard at all. So it is you can open it with Notepad um, or it, some other text editing thing like Word or whatever. But I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm also going to show you a secret. So you know when the holiday starts and you want to get the discos for the, the latest, greatest recipes. And um, sometimes the holiday might have multiple recipe books like Frostall. There's one for like appearance gear and weapons. And then there's one for um, the house items. And I think there's even a third one. I know Tinkerfest has multiple um, different recipes that might come out for one year and you don't want to have to know what those i used to like type up a list so i know which ones to enter to try and find but then i came up with this i created a recipe filter called disco and i have it ready to go and what you do is you go to the forums and you go to in testing and test server updates okay Thiel created a, a thread called night of the dead night of the dead 2017 be back and, and bugs. If you scroll down, he tells you what the name of the recipe be, recipe book will be. And I have it highlighted here, um, so you know the name of it, and um, um, you can use that to create your disco. So if you go to where you've installed your game, I have it installed local disk C, users, public, daybreak, installed games a request to and then it's just in this main directory now there's two ways that you can um get to um edit this file i highly re recommend that you copy and then you paste and so it's a backup so you can change the original one and just so you know you have to, you shouldn't be in the game when you change this i mean it's not going to hurt anything if you're in the game but you won't see your changes until you actually re-log into the game. Um, so you won't be able to see what uh, the change is because one, the recipe book isn't live. And two, I'm already in the game, so I could do this video. So just so you know, before you log into the game, edit edit this file after you make a backup of it. 
and then log into the game so you can see it once it's live. So here we go. So this is the file. You can right click on it and do open with. Because I was a dev in a, you know, before it became disabled, I used to use Notepad++. Plus plus. Um, so right now, if I do open with, it, that's the option and it doesn't show Notepad, you will have Notepad as an option if you do the open with. So right click on the file, open with, pick Notepad. Excuse me a second. <laughs> Sorry, I have a cough today. So um, the other way you can open it is you can go to Notepad itself. So I'm going to open Notepad. I'm going to open the file. So file open. And then just so you know, it's not a text document. So it, right next to the file name box, there's a text document. You pick all files. Then you, then you navigate to where the game is installed. It's different for everyone. It's not in the save customizations. It's not in the save house layouts. It's down um, here. So I'm gonna open that file and I know it might look a little scary. There's brackets or whatever, but it's really simple. So each filter starts with recipe filter and then there's some code, but Here's the name of the actual filter. So it says name equals, and then in quotes, it's the name of your filter. It It's not too bad. I mean, if you look at my recipe filter, so, you know, first you get the unfiltered and the recent crafted. You can't change those. It's it's defaulted in. But then if you look, I got ancient, ancient teachings alchemist. It matches this. So the order that they appear in this file is the order that they appear in the list. You can move these around. So that's what I did. I initially create the recipe filter in the game and get it as close to it as I want. And then I, I exit the game. I edit this file and then I can just add to it. So like I've got all the carpenter house items, but now I have to quick sneak in the provisioner ones. Um, I What I end up doing is logging in those characters that have the recipe book that I want, and I would just write down the recipe name so I can add it to this file um, when I'm not online. So if I scroll down, the, you can see that I have a ton of them, and it has all kinds of different things. I used to craft for all kinds of people. I have all nine crafters. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, you see the disco one, and you can see that it's set up for brew day. I didn't do Tinkerfest. I've kind of, I used to be competitive with getting discos with someone, but I've kind of backed off on that. So um, usually I'm up because of insomnia, but I skipped Tinkerfest. I'm going to probably be skipping the rest. That's why I'm giving you the secret. So uh, it'll be curious to see who gets the discos this year. So anyway. So it says recipe filter, the name of the recipe filter is disco, and then filter items. So this is, and it's saying recipe book, this is how it's filtering. There's other ways to filter um, things with with these. So if you go to edit, and he, here's the name. So, it, you know, this is where I had typed disco. You can pick all sorts of things. So that's why I say create it in game first so that you know the code. It like puts the code in for you and you just make a couple tweaks. Um, you can change the order then. So you can create the new one and, and then just move it to where you really want it. Um, so you don't have to figure out how they, they code adventure level and technique and all of that. You create the, the filter as close as you can and then you just tweak it. So that's what I did. I created it. It's really this the holiday ones are really simple i just go by the recipe book because it has just the house items in this case so um the last one i had was the brew day one i want to change that how do you know the name well they pretty much follow a pattern each year and they just keep upping the number it might be a roman numeral it might be an actual number um in this case it's a uh, roman numeral and if you're not quite sure you can go to the post. He tells you exactly what the name is, Celebrations of the Dead X. If you look at my filter for Night of the Dead, 
I have one for Tinker Holiday, Tinkerfest Holiday, Night of the Dead Holiday, Brew Day Holiday, Erlissy Day. So I have all of them. Holiday, Bristlebane. Um, so if I know the house items for a specific holiday, I go to that filter and it's easier for me to find stuff without me having to go to the website or whatever if, if I kind of know what it is already. Um, so th this one, it, I can just, what I normally end up doing is just copying it here and then changing the Roman numeral because I see what the name is. You can copy this text, paste it in here. It works the same, just don't forget the quotes. So, and if you copy it in here, it has the correct spacing so it looks neat so it's easier to read. Um, so once I do that, um, I'm going to copy it again. I I like to have lots of different filters. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to change this disco to this. It's not live yet. When I save this, when I go to disco, I will no longer, and I log into the game, I will no longer see the Brew Day ones that I showed you. It will be blank. When it goes live, and I log into the game to get the patch, and then I go to disco, it will show all those recipes automatically for me. It's ready to go. It does not hurt to put it in early. It just won't show anything. So if you make a typo or whatever, it's just not going to show that recipe book. It will show the other ones, but the one that you made the typo on, it won't come up. And it won't give you an error. It just won't show you anything for it. So don't worry about that. So I did that. Um, to, to move it, I can show you real quick. You can highlight the text. You, it starts with recipe filter, and then it has this bracket. So you just look to see where the next recipe filter one is and just stop at that bracket. So um, I'm going to highlight this one. I can cut it, or I can copy it. I can paste it up above. So if you just want to move it, you cut it, and then paste it wherever you want in between the different filters. Or you can copy and paste it instead of cutting it so that it maintains this one down here, but you can put it somewhere else as well. And you can edit it and change the name. And so you can magically create a new filter without creating it first in the game. It is possible to do that um, if you know um, the different, you know, if you're just doing it by recipe book and you already have one that is an example for you. So um, I can I can paste this disco one. Whoops. I didn't actually copy it when I highlighted it. So I can copy this. I can paste it up here above Tinkerfest and it will show twice in my list then. Disco, disco. You can change the name because it might get confused if it has the exact same name. But it is in both places, and so let's say I want to be ready for Frostfell. I can put Frostfell in here too, or whatever. So I'm, I'm going to re remove it so there's not a duplicate. But if I don't like it there, I can move it. it it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to highlight this again to copy it up. So I added it to my Night of the Dead. And in this situation, I remembered to put it where it appears on the merchant. It does an alphabetical order. Um, you know, X is before Z in the alphabet. So even though the number itself means a bigger number than these, it's going to be alphabetical, not the the order that, you know, numerically it is. Um, so that reminds me, it's not going to be at the bottom of the list. It's going to be in the middle. So um, I can go up. I see I have Frostfeld, Erelissi. Bristlebane Day, I've got Brew Day, I've got um, All, Holiday All. So it has all of them. So I need, I want to add it here too. So I just find where it would be located and paste it in. So I have all the holidays. I remember it's a holiday thing. It's not like a regular recipe book. It's a holiday one. Um, I have all of them because I can't remember. Was it Brew Day or Bristlebane Day? I have this and it just shows those items. It just helps me because I have a bad memory. So, and like the notebook stuff, it, you know, some of them have weird names or whatever. They don't have notebook at the end. So to, to save save me from frustration, I created a notebooks filter. Um, what else? I like to do the expansion ones. So anything that was for that expansion, including like the 
the um, premium and collector's edition, we got a special building block kit. I have that in there for the the um, uh, expansion house item one. So uh, yeah, I have TOT and I have Sundered Brown, which was a special world event that has a recipe. I don't have to remember the name. I can see it in the filter list and go, oh yeah, that's what it was called. Um, um, anyway, this one looks like I have all recipes that are house items, including the provisioner ones, the, the weaponsmith ones. Um, I can scroll down here and just show you. Uh, it, I have all the like uh, faction recipe books that you get, stuff like the house actor crate, um, uh, the display case thing for the raid trophy heads, um, which are you know isn't just carpenters. So I have a ton of them, like the recipes that you get from doing the signature quest lines for crafters. Um, so yeah, um, there should be, so I have a sage one in here because it's the, the notebook stuff. So it's not just carpenters, it's just specifically house items. Um, what else do I have in here? But yeah, it's not this was what allowed me to combine all of them because if I'm on my sage, I can't see the carpenter ones. And if I'm on the carpenter, I can't see the sage ones, but they're all house items. So I have it all here. I just add it to that. So I end up adding it to three places, all house items, holiday and the specific holiday name, like night of the dead, and then the disco one. And, you know, you can keep going and going if you want, um, however you want to do it. So I added them. Now I just save the file like normal, save, I exit, and then um, when I go into the game, it will show up. Hopefully that wasn't too complicated or scary for you. Remember, you can back up the file. If it messes up, you can just, you know, um, restore it from your backup. Uh, let me know if I covered everything that you might need to know about editing your filter recipes, um, recipe filters, excuse me. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next how-to video.